hopefully you are doing well. Uh, Jamie has just left to go back to his um, base that he is now stationed at. Sucks to be apart, um, but it is what it is. So he's able to come home on most weekends and help out with things, but he's now gone. So I'm going to hopefully finish up this diamond painting. This might be like a little bit of a whip and chat or more just to show you kind of how three dividers and the Bella Hexagon tool works. This is a one of a kind tool and so it takes a little bit of getting used to and finessing and things like that. Um, and then our trays are patent pending with the design, sliding lid, high walls, uh, the inside lines, how they line up the drills well, um, the inside sloping and things like that. Um, so, and then I also have a little Bella Ardan cool coffee cup cover reminder. Well, I guess that's kind of a coffee, and this is a coffee cup trash drill cover reminder. And then I've got my 2023 diamond um, to have for 2023 and have on the diamond paintings. And then I have my Nacho Mama's mud. So we do 3D print our multi-placers. Currently right now we're working on doing some uh, multi-placers that are 3D printed. These are 3D printed, but they're resin 3D printed, um, and so they're a little bit different, and we actually do have these on the website, uh, deeply discounted. We're still trying to figure these guys out, um, but I have them in there. So basically with my Nacho Mama's Mud, all I do is just kind of like pinch out a little bit, and then I just go across my multi-placers, just make sure that I have a little bit of extra of the wax on there. Um, this is a fantastic wax alternative. Beth is a small business. I will link her below. Um, and I get unscented because I can't do scented things. And so I use unscented. So hopefully you can see the canvas kind of well. Um, it's kind of hard um, with the lighting and stuff like that. Um, just forewarning, we have two dogs, two cats, two guinea pigs that never fails that one or all of them will make noise during the video. Um, and then you might hear the uh, 3D printer going because um, that's printing some things. And then right outside is a window and it's extremely extremely windy today. Um, so basically the thing with the hexagon holder, um, I usually have a single placer in there. I do need to replace these with everlasting tips. Um, they are the original creators of the stainless steel tips. Uh, so I do need to grab those out and replace this. Um, and then I have our tips and basically you have access to a single placer and then a bunch of multi-placers and it's really easy to, um, like go from one to the other and then we um made it into a cover minder so it's kind of like a fidget spinner or you can like fidget spin in your you know hand kind of thing or you can put it on your diamond painting when you're done or your workspace so the three dividers are the most versatile trees that we have because they still have the high walls they still have the high lines and everything but it as where you can put three colors in there or you they're removable dividers so you could put two colors in here or you could use it as a single tray so you can use that as a couple different things and i'm gonna bump my tray and make a mess um so basically uh, where's k um i kind of about to finesse it just a little bit to kind of get them but they line up pretty easily with that and then basically i can go and just find so here's my spot with the three little dots so I can go ahead and put that there. I've got K here, so I'm gonna put K. So basically it's just really easy to switch between the colors and then also switch between the multi-placers to um, put on the canvas. And so you could kind of just switch between them. And so if I need like a bigger one, then I could just switch there really easily. Kind of hard when you like talk and try to show something too. It usually doesn't end well. Um, so then if I need three drills, then I just do like that and switch three drills, put them on, and then I can use it. Um, here's two, so I put two there, put two there, one and one. Um, so this tray, like I said, is the most versatile tray. And then this was never intended to be a pen originally, but it definitely is a pen now. I don't even use any other of all of my really fancy pens that I bought. Um, but I do use this um, to be able to just switch between the multi-placers with ease. And it makes 
like confetti a breeze being able to get through these a lot easier um, and then I don't know it's just fun to use it too so I'm just gonna go ahead and place these so yeah um, we are busy gearing up for Mary's diamonds I can't wait till we get our first hand charted um, kits if you haven't heard we acquired Mary's diamonds at the end of 2022 I uh, officially took it over December 31st, 2022, um, or no, 2020, yeah, 2022, we're in 2023, so took it over, um, and we're making a lot of upgrades to it. We are paying for a designer to hand chart 10 artworks at a time, and basically we have chosen a size that is good for both squares and rounds, and then they are hand charting, they have to hand chart each one because there's different sizes with the, um, with the drills because uh, square drills are actually smaller than round drills so if you've never noticed it takes you a little bit longer to do a square painting than a round painting it's because they are smaller drills and so you have to place more in the same um, size section so it takes a little bit longer to do that um, so we are having them hand chart both those then we'll release 10 and then as soon as soon as they're done with those 10 then we will pay them to hand render another 10 artwork so basically if you love rounds then we will have the rounds available if you love squares then we'll have the squares available all right I'm not seeing any more K's in that section or anything oh here's ends um, and yeah, so we're really excited about that. Then we've got Bella Arts Nicole. You know, we have Bella Arts DP along that's coming up, which is basically any um, any canvas that reminds you of a loved one. Man, those don't want to stick. Any canvas. Oh, is this not sticky? Oh, great. This is another part of the canvas that isn't sticky. Okay, I'll just have to take these out and then I will put them on. Unfortunately, I've been seeing like with this canvas, there is spots that like aren't sticky at all. It's driving me a little nuts. Um, also, there's confetti with these drills. Also driving me nuts. But anyways, um, so uh, Bella Arts and Nicole, we're busy with that spot. Uh, so Bella Arts DP along is an event that's coming up. I think this is the third year that we've done it. And basically just any diamond painting that reminds you of a loved one, you could participate in other events, other events at the same time as ours. Um, I think it just needs to be a 40 by 40 centimeter section um, to complete. It does have to be a new start. I think this is the only one this year that we're requiring a new start on. Oh, I think Be The Hero might. Anyways, um, so stay um so planning on that one can't believe it's already March 1st that's just absolutely nuts that we're almost March 1st so we have that event and then we're also sponsoring dark vibes craft along I will link that event in the description below uh, where you can find information as well as Chuck along seven uh, with Mendy and Maritza and then uh, the dark vibes craft along is with Knox and uh, she actually only lives like three and a half, maybe four hours away from me. So we're hoping to plan a get together um, for her to come visit. So that would be awesome because uh, Jamie's not here during the week. It gets a little lonely, but I also am really busy with both businesses, but I am always up for visitors. So looking forward to that. Um, and then, yeah, so those two events were spon this is another place that's not, uh, it's kind of sticky in some parts. Um, so looking forward to sponsoring both of those events. And then we also have Bella RCP along. Um, so we're doing that. Actually, we didn't do a tray for our event and we probably kind of should work on that. <laughs> Reminds me, I need to hopefully remember after this. I have fibromyalgia, so I forget things really easily, but hopefully after this, um, or maybe if someone wants to comment in the description below after you watch this and be like, don't forget to do a Bella RCP along tray. Cause we definitely didn't do that. Um, so we should probably do one. All right, I think I got all those. So then basically I just kind of put it off to the side and then I'll move along to the next tray and see if there's any of these that are in sections that I can see and put them in. And as you can see, they're already lined up really well. Um, so super helpful. Oh, I'm back to this like section. Stay, get on there. Oh man, it's taking off the other one. Oh, hold on. Um, where did that drill go? Oh man, I lost it. Oh, there it is. Um, stay on the canvas. 
I know that there's a, like Diamond Dots has a thing where you can get it and I think it makes the canvas sticky. Um, so I think I need to run to Hobby Lobby to grab some of that if I wanna make sure that these guys can stay on. Um, so yeah, so we have events coming up and then the businesses getting Mary's Diamonds off the ground. Um, and so you'll see me doing more of the Mary's Diamonds kits coming up uh, because as soon as the designer is done with those kits, I told them that I want them rush ordered to me. I'm really excited about all of them. Um, and we brought back artists uh, that were from Mary's Diamonds already. Um, and then we'll be adding new artists. So if you guys have any suggestions for uh, new artists, um, for Mary's Diamonds, then you can email it to Mary's Diamonds Licensing at gmail.com, and I'll be sure to uh, put it in the description below, or I will attempt to if I can remember. Man, I'm saying I'm gonna put a lot in the description. <laughs> we'll see if I actually end up with that. Um, all right, let's switch. Ooh, and then I found, and it's really easy to go back to the trays because I found like over here there's a little section with the little three dots so then I can just basically take open it up again and then I place those and then we're good to go with those so nice so yeah so these are definitely the most versatile trees that we have uh, they really come in handy you can kind of shake them so you can like turn the tray and shake it this way if you want these drills to be lined up um, or you could turn it around if you want to shake the other way and then I just kind of put it so these are chalkboard chalk stickers um, that some of our customers recommended. So I put those on and then I put the stickers on top of them. Um, and I believe the Mary's Diamond stickers are a little bit bigger, but they'll still fit on this section. Um, but so I basically just take these stickers off and I leave the other ones on, but they stick really well. And so I just put exactly what, you know, is in the section. And if you're ever confused, like even if you turn the tray around and work this way, you can always just turn this around too and you could still see what the symbol is. Um, so that's how I I work out of the uh, trays like this um, but yeah it's just it's really helpful to have more than one uh, color available at a time especially when you're doing heavy confetti sections if you've never heard of confetti before it is basically where there are a whole lot of several uh, symbols in the same exact place so like this one has a y s on the same place um this one has like the hourglass the is that like a backward seven i am working upside down and in a clover maybe three leaf clover um i don't know what do you guys call <laughs> so just make it up as I go um, but they're all right here in the section together and so that would be what is considered considered confetti um, and that's something that we're making sure with Mary's diamonds that we kind of do a balance of the confetti and not you do need some confetti to so show some uh, definitions and things like that um, so there is you know confetti is helpful to have in there but there's also if you just completely have a canvas that is uh, computer generated you are going to have a butt load of confetti sections and so that's what we're trying to avoid with Mary's Diamonds is having those unnecessary confetti sections um, and but like this one it needs the definition of all these different colors and so that's why they're in there um, this is of the Cheshire cat. I don't know if you can tell, um, but this is for Life with Lindsay. She does an event every year. I think this was her third one with Alice in a Winter Wonderland, um, and we sponsored that event again. Looking forward to it next year. Um, you know, I just, I don't get as much time to diamond paint when I'm, you know, super busy with all the different businesses and stuff and trying to keep up. Um, I have been training staff to kind of take over on some of the things. Um, and then my best friend, Tanya, um, does the graphics for us. And then she's helping me with Mary's diamonds. And I also have like a little, um, you know, group message with some people that have been diamond painting for various times and that I trust. And so, um, I get feedback from them. Um, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> I forget things really easily sometimes. But anyways, so um, 
you know, confetti is necessary sometimes, but also sometimes it definitely is not necessary. So hand charting is a way to um, not have to uh, have so much confetti. But my reasoning for doing this video, because I am going off on a tangent, is just kind of show you how easy it is to switch between the different trays. Like this one has quite a few that I could still do, but easy enough. I could just switch to another tray if I wanted to and then come back to that one. Um, so I have like this little like backwards seven, I guess. Yeah, it's kind of like a seven. Um, but there's the drills again. They line up pretty easily um, without too much um too much work to do that um and then i can just come in here and switch between the different ones and put them in as necessary so i kind of just turn them around and when i'm turning it i just kind of leave my hand open so you can kind of see so that way they just kind of glide through with ease and then when i'm multi-placing you know i just kind of do it where i'm a little bit um like, I guess I don't have one that's kind of like sticking me in the hand kind of thing. Um, so this is a unique tool that Jamie designed. Um, and at first it was just supposed to hold a bunch of multi-placers, but then it really turned into like a very helpful pin. So that's what I use. And it's super easy to change. And so as you can see with all of the talking that I've been doing, the sections that I have been able to complete in just a short amount of time. Using the tool and then using... Oh, that one has an extra drill around there somewhere. It was probably supposed to go. Oh, hi, kitten. She's coming to say hi. So that one was supposed to go. Oh, these are sliding off too easily. That one was supposed to go in my trash drill container. Um, but yeah, so that's what I wanted to show you guys with this. And then I guess it turned into a tiny bit of a whip and chat. Um, but I do need to, I know that um, in less than 30 minutes, we're doing a spring cleaning sale of items that we've had for a while. Um, by the time you watch this video, there may or may not be stuff left, um, but I do need to go and just double check on those and make sure that I have all the values and everything ready to go for that and the listings. Hi, kitten. Her name is Cleo, but she responds to kitten. She's definitely not a kitten anymore, but that's what she responds to. So I am going to cut this short, I guess. I mean, I didn't really have a plan for how long this is going to be, but I'm just going to hop off of here so that I can make sure that everything is ready for that sale. And then I'll start getting this video posting. It takes a minute for it to post. And so I will get that going. Um, I don't even know if you can see what I'm working on half the time here. I guess I should have angled the camera a little bit differently. Um, but hopefully you can see that I've been using the drills super easily, just switch between the trays. Uh, we do have a tower that these go into now, and so it will hold 16 of these. So these are 10, and so it'll hold eight and eight, and so you can kind of have them in a, in a tower if you want to. But if you have the space, then it's really easy to just put them on your workspace and be able to switch between them and go from there. So hopefully you find this video a little bit helpful. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Uh, it helps with algorithms and um, subscribe. We actually just hit 3,000 subscribers, which is amazing. Um, and so we will be doing a giveaway soon. We have to figure out what that's going to be um, and go from there, but that will be coming up soon. So if you want to be a part of our subscriber giveaway, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and um, you can hit the bell to be notified of future videos. Um, and I think that's it. So yeah, and go ahead and leave me a comment below. Let me know if this is helpful. Let me know if you use the hexagon Bella tool. Let me know if you use three dividers, what your favorite tray is from us. If you really like the three dividers, um, because of how many drills you can put in them. Again, you can do three, you can do two, you can do one. They're pretty versatile. Um, so they are one of my favorite trays to work out of, especially when there is confetti. Um, so hopefully you've enjoyed this video and until next time, I'll see you then. Bye everyone.